Friday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one Spirit, as you are also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, but who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading is from Ephesians 4, 1-6. In this passage, the author calls for members of the community to live in a worthy manner. Remember, this letter is written as if it's written by Paul from prison. Probably Paul did not write it. It was probably written by one of his disciples. But nevertheless, one of the themes that Paul emphasized is emphasized here. We should live a life so filled with virtue that we'll be a good example to others. We live in humility, gentleness, patience, loving one another, living in a bond of peace. We should be example of the oneness to which God has called us, for we have one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. God has called us to live as one. We should attempt to do that. We shouldn't try to divide ourselves from others, being judgmental. We shouldn't try to build ourselves up in the face of others thinking that we're superior to them. Rather, we should view our vocation as trying to be one with them, as healing them with our love. The Gospel is from Luke 12, 54-59. Jesus uses a couple of earthly examples. He says, if you see a cloud rising in the west, you know it's going to rain. And if you're going to judgment, Maybe it's better to settle on the way before you might be judged guilty and be punished. In other words, look for the signs of the times. Realize that we're faced with a final judgment and therefore convert now rather than waiting for some future time. And may God bless us.